manhole fire knocked power out for hundreds of customers. CBS 2's Andrea Grimes is there right now. Andrea? Well, Diane, there's about 750 customers right now, according to Con Edison, without power. That's down from about 780 a few hours ago. So crews are making progress. But if you take a look behind me, you can see exactly what the issue was. These torched wires and cables from this morning's manhole fire. A cell phone video captured the flames shooting from this manhole on West 190th Street near Wadsworth Terrace. Andrew Peralta says it was a scary sight when he was coming home from work. I just moved back because I don't know what's going to happen. A chopper, too, flew overhead around 6.30 this morning while the FDNY put foam on the smoking manhole. No one was hurt. Jose Bernal Lopez lives on the block and evacuated on his own when he saw the flames. I came out because I was afraid. I thought maybe something might happen to the buildings. The major issue hundreds of people here are now dealing with, no power on this hot and humid day. Con Ed says at least seven apartment buildings on Wadsworth Terrace and nearby Fairview Avenue lost electricity. Dark. <laughs> I'm very hot. Super hot. Right now? I think we can take it. I don't know after later on. I'm so furious right now because I don't have electricity. I'm hot. We found Will Crafton sitting outside his building trying to stay cool. You have to because it's stifling upstairs. Con Edison says it's trying to figure out exactly what caused the fire. Crews are replacing the burned underground cables to get the power back up and running. Many residents say, although it's an uncomfortable inconvenience, they're glad to see Con Ed working on the problem. Yeah, because we know he's going to fix it. I hope it's fast. Well, Con Edison uh, hopes to have power back up and running by 7 o'clock this evening. And just to put this all in perspective, Con Ed serves more than 3 million customers in our area. This is the only major issue today. Reporting live in Washington Heights, Andrea Grimes, CBS 2 News.